So after covering a bunch of relatively obscure games for the PlayStation 2, the time has come once again for me to look at something more popular. I've heard of the Persona games before, but until recently knew next to nothing about them. I did try the original Persona back when I was going through the original PlayStation's library, but it was a bit too primitive and rough around the edges for me. But I could definitely see the potential behind the idea, and obviously that potential was fully realized, as Personas 3, 4, and 5 are very popular games. I gave both Persona 3 and 4 a shot, and I can definitely see their appeal and why people like them. However, I will admit up front that I did not come close to finishing either game, as both reportedly take about 80 hours to complete. Now that's an investment of time I wouldn't mind making if I was completely absorbed and enjoying every minute, but regrettably that wasn't the case. There were a lot of things I liked about both games, but when it came to the overall pacing, these games are very slow. So this will be less of a review and more of a first impression. Though I did end up sinking over 15 hours into Persona 3 and over 10 hours into Persona 4 before calling it quits, so I'd like to think that my opinion counts for something. In both games you take control of a generic silent protagonist who is attending a high school in Japan, and ends up getting sucked into a supernatural thriller story on the side, and must use aspects of himself, called personas, to fight off monsters and grow stronger. Each game is built around going through a year at high school, balancing various activities and forming bonds with other students and residents, and exploring the supernatural monster infested dungeons that only you and a select group of individuals are aware of. You have a limited number of time slots for different activities and hanging out with other people, and depending on which ones you do, you can get more powerful personas of varying types. Personas are essentially monsters you control that supposedly reflect different sides of the main character, and by fusing them together you can create more powerful personas, which will in turn help you fight against the monsters you encounter in the dungeons. It's kind of like Pokemon, except much less intuitive and even more likely to offend the paranoid religious fundamentalists of the world. The core idea is interesting, but it's a very slow burn, and with both games there's a lot of trough to go with the peak. You attend to different activities, form bonds with different characters, trek your way through the dungeons, and craft ever stronger personas in order to make progress, and for the most part it works, but again it is very slow paced. The routine the game has you go through is rather absorbing, but it takes a while for the really interesting stuff to happen. And even once it does happen, you're weighed down by the knowledge that it's going to be quite a while before you get to the next really interesting bit. If you're the kind of person who needs faster pacing and more instant gratification in games, these games definitely won't appeal to you. For me, I'm fine with slower pacing as long as the experience is engaging, and the Persona games are engaging, but for me the pacing was slow enough to start grading on my patience. While both games are similar, there are some notable differences. Persona 3 has a darker, more gothic edge to it, as the main threat is more sinister and creepy, both aesthetically and thematically. Persona 4, meanwhile, is more of a murder mystery, and while it has darker elements, it's overall more lighthearted in tone. In terms of which one is better, it's hard to say. From what I played, and what I've read and watched, I'd say that Persona 4 has the stronger story and characters, with a lot of moments that are both shocking and powerful, but the slog of getting to those moments was a bit too much for me. Persona 3's story and characters, while not as strong as Persona 4, are still good, and do have some powerful moments. And for me the core gameplay loop flowed much better, and while it could get rather tedious at times, I found it a little more absorbing than Persona 4. I also think it does a slightly better job of explaining the game mechanics than 4. Plus, both games take a little while to get going, with the introduction of Persona 4 in particular really dragging on for a while. Between the two games, I can see why this series is so popular, and I wish I could have enjoyed them more than I do. Having not finished either one, from what I played I'd say I liked Persona 3 a little more, since the core gameplay loop worked for me better than the one in Persona 4. But on the other hand, the main storyline of Persona 4 is really good, and it has an excellent cast of characters. The key aspect that makes Persona 4 work is how the characters are forced to confront their shadow selves, physical manifestations of their darkest secrets and thoughts. It's incredibly well written and well done, and makes the story and characters very human. I did like the cast of characters in Persona 3, but they don't have the same depth as the cast of Persona 4. And while the story is good, it's still a pretty basic good versus evil kind of story. I don't know, I just think it's much more compelling when characters are forced to confront the darkness inside themselves, rather than some generic external evil. But like I said, Persona 3 has better pacing, and while Persona 4 has a lot of really great moments, it can be a real slog to get to them, though Persona 3 could be a bit of a slog as well. In any case, if you're completely new to the series but curious, either Persona 3 or 4 is a good place to start, though I would recommend starting on the lowest difficulty setting. Both are good games, and even if you don't like one, they're different enough that you may enjoy the other. As for me, I'm glad I played them, and there were parts of them I liked, but they were just a bit too slow paced for me to stick with. Even so, I would still recommend both games. And that's it, I think. 
I won't be giving either one a score, since I didn't play enough of them to really qualify for that. Anyways, what do you think? Have you played any of the Persona games? Which one is your favorite? Whatever you think, be sure to let me know in the comments below. If you like what I do, feel free to subscribe and follow me on Twitter. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.